Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take this robot actuator, which has a some backlash. This robot actuator we built several weeks ago. And to this robot actuator we're gonna add some additional reduction stage using the belt system. And with this additional reduction stage, theoretically we should reduce the backlash of entire actuator. Because this one has backlash. The bell system should not have a backlash, it should have almost zero backlash. So overall backlash should be reduced by the reduction ratio of the additional stage. So let's get started. And this is the pieces which we are going to use. So this is our actuator. This is kind of main part because uh, this is a frame which is gonna hold all the stuff. And here I already put a slew bearing. This is a slew bearing from one of my previous video. This is a big pulley, this is a small pulley, and this is some parts to fix uh, all these together. So first thing is to install small pulley on the planetary gearbox output shaft. So I fixed the small pulley on the assembly of the planetary gearbox and motor. And now this assembly goes here. So it goes like this and it should be fixed with the four screws. The gearbox assembly is uh, fixed on the frame. And now I can fix this ring. So this ring goes here. And like this it's gonna hold the bearing inside. And now we can put this big pulley over here. And we should not forget to put the belt. This is a belt. It goes here, around the big pulley, and afterwards big pulley goes inside the bearing. The belt is tightened. Good. Nice fit. Now in order to hold this pulley we will put this piece over here and we will fix everything with the screw. And there is a places for the embedded nuts here and here. Now this one goes here and we can attach them together with the screws. And this is how it looks assembled. And if I rotate the motor the output shaft rotates. Over here I can put the screws with which I will attach the arm to the output shaft. We already put the embedded nuts inside. I can feel that the backlash from this actuator is lower than the backlash from the gearbox itself. But in order to check this uh, backlash more precisely, I'm gonna fix this actuator and I will install the arm on the output shaft here. And like this I will see if there is a play in this arm. And in order to fix the actuator I'm gonna use this support uh, which I used in one of my previous video. And also in order to mount the arm I'm gonna use this adapter. So first of all the support. And now I will install this adapter for the arm. And for the stability I'm going to mount this uh, actuator on this uh, support. And now I can mount the arm. Of course this system is back drivable, but now there is a very high uh, gear ratio because there is uh, this stage and plus uh, planetary gearbox. There is a backlash, but I think it's quite small. So let's measure the backlash. It's around one millimeter. I also looked at the backlash with the caliper 
like this it's a little bit more precise and I saw that the play on this arm is around 0.7 millimeters. This corresponds to the backlash of 7 arc minute which is uh, way lower than the initial backlash of this uh, gearbox which is a 37 arc minute. So now what we can do we can connect this uh, actuator to the O drive and see how it moves. And now let's see how it's gonna work with the O drive. Here I have the O drive and by the way this is a Raspberry Pi which controls O drive. By the way the total reduction ratio of this system is 150. Great. I don't gonna test the payload because I think this belt cannot handle the high torque. Maybe I should use a stainless steel wire instead of this belt. Today we build this actuator. So this is basically a brushless motor, planetary gearbox and this is basically the assembly from one of my previous video. And to this assembly we added an additional stage with the belt and with the slew bearing. And the total reduction of this actuator is 150. So reduction ratio of 30 in the planetary gearbox and reduction ratio of 5 in the belt. And this is GT3 belt and uh, usually this belt has uh, almost zero backlash. And so the idea was that uh, thanks to this additional stage we are gonna reduce the backlash because there is backlash on the planetary gearbox and after additional reduction stage it should be reduced and uh, we estimated this backlash around 7 arc minutes and by the way the backlash which I measured from the gearbox itself is 37 arc minute and uh, it's basically 5 times smaller which is uh, kind of comparable with the reduction ratio of the final stage and all this beauty was possible thanks to my patrons here their names if you would like to support my channel, be like my patron or support me via PayPal. All the links in the description to this video. And also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to share this video, even if you're not new to my channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.